I want to win, so... My expectations every time is to win, to be honest with you. The team have told me to stay away from, from that. <laughs> Of course, there are a lot of potential winners of this race, even though this Sunday in Campione at the second round of the F2 World Championship was a busy day for all teams who made it into the top 20, who will enter the Swiss Grand Prix. Qualifying and race on the same day didn't leave much time to rest. But finally, the race was about to be started. Landin on pole, Perfreyman second and Comparato third. The lights went off and the race was on. Landin could keep his first position and was leading the race with Perfreyman keeping his second spot and Comparato right behind him. All made it through the first turn in one piece, but the fight for the top 10 positions was really worth watching. The water conditions were pretty rough, like expected. More surprising it was that this Grand Prix will finish without a single yellow flag. But first things first, some laps into the race it became clear Matthew Perfreyman can go the speed of Landin and even more, the number 13 boat could decrease the gap. Landin had to push and take any risk to stay in front of Perfreyman who was putting everything in to catch Landin. Most of the race we were catching him, losing, catching, just trying to find it. A position really to get past him. He made a few mistakes. I couldn't capitalize either. Made the mistake on the next turn. Um, and then towards the end, I had a slight coming together on one side and I lost a deck hatch on the other. So the boat was just filling up either side. It just didn't know what it wanted to do in a straight line. So we were really on get home mode for the last 10 laps. It was breathtaking to watch these two fighting for the win. Again and again, Perfreyman was almost close enough for overtaking, but every time, Landin had the right answer. In the meantime, Comparato, third in the race, got under pressure from Eric Edin, who had a blistering start and moved up to fourth within the first few laps. Edin had the quicker boat, but Comparato tried everything to keep Edin behind him. But at the end, Edin passed Comparato and went up to third. Also, Nick Bisterfeld could pass Comparato for fourth and was now gaining ground on Edin. This was the fight for the third place on the podium. On the main straight, Bisterfeld and Edin were side by side, but Edin managed to stay in front of the German. At the end, Eric Edin finished third after the drama. In Q3, he was quite happy about this result. Well, I'm happy to be in a podium, uh, but with this new boat and after Finland, I, I want to aim higher. Uh, I'm happy with my third place here, but in the total, I want to get higher. And well, bad luck, but it ends good. The race for the win still wasn't decided between Landin in the lead and Paul Freeman second. But in the final stages of the race, Landin could open a little gap and at the end, the Swede won the Swiss Grand Prix and moved up to second in the championship with Comparato still leading by seven points. It was a really tough, tough race and I saw him in my mirrors all the time and uh, it was between two, one and a half seconds to nine seconds. So it was really tough and he's a really good driver. After two rounds, the F2 World Championship is still very open. So the next race in Tvedestrand in Norway could be a turning point in the fight for the title. So don't miss it and follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and f2worldchamp.com.